wavelet-based density estimation for multidimensional streaming data. Well, first off, what do ozone level monitoring, hacker detection, geological surveys using sensor networks, stock market crash analysis, and sea traffic monitoring have in common? They all use density estimation to achieve their goals. But what is density estimation? In essence, we want to know the distribution of a random variable. Now let's look at how several methods perform when trying to approximate a tooth distribution. Histograms bin data and excel at capturing sharp transitions, but struggle with approximating the smooth slope up. Kernels, on the other hand, have a great approximation of the smooth slope and do poorly with the sharp transition. Wavelets, which we use, succeed on both fronts, allowing them to better approximate a wider variety of functions. Now let's look at the kind of information we're working with, streaming data. These are huge data sets with potentially hundreds of data points coming in every second. You don't want to have to wait for all the data before running analysis because you can't. Our algorithm recursively updates its density with new data so as to perform as little work as possible. But how can lay people take advantage of its utility with an easy to use application? And here we have the Java two-dimensional density estimator. We see the tool displaying the probability for a three Gaussian mixture model. After 1,000 data points, we switch to a unimodal generating function and the estimate adapts to the new data coming in. The application gives users a wide variety of options for optimizing the estimate to their data. For example, we can control resolution. High resolution lets us capture more details, but also makes us more sensitive to noise. Several ways to discount old data are provided, including windowing, decaying, and no aging at all. The wavelet family can be selected. Generally, higher order wavelets give smoother estimates. We provide easy methods to edit the display. One can select how fine of a grid to plot over and how frequently to update the density displayed. Perhaps most importantly, users can easily run the estimator on their own data files by simply browsing to it. After this, one can just hit start and watch the density evolve. Let's take a look at a concrete use of the estimator in the stock market. But first, balancing risk is a huge deal for stock traders, and a big indicator of risk in a stock is trading volume. But is this always an indicator of risk? To answer this question, we ran the density estimator on historical stock data and found the mutual information between volume and price changes. From this graph, we can see that there are periods when volume tells us a lot about risk, such as the 2008 crash, and periods when it doesn't tell us much at all, such as the 2011 debt crisis. Keeping this kind of information in mind lets traders better balance risk. In brief, our application lets you efficiently perform a vital component of data analysis on complex, real-time data.